Yo, what's going on, It's your boy Sex is back over here on the Mad Ultimate Team, debuting a new series for you guys today. We're going to call this the Chemistry Team Build. Now, I was building lineups with chemistry and then showing you guys those lineups over here on YouTube, but I wasn't playing games. I was just experimenting, trying some chem out, seeing what works, what doesn't work. But now we're going to go ahead and build some teams revolving around chemistry. A lot of you guys want me to do team builds as well as help you construct your team specifically with chemistry. Can't do it on Mudhead, so I figured we'll go ahead and do it with what Madden has in place right now and construct lineups revolving around certain chems over here in this game. And today's episode is going to be revolving around the Denver Broncos chemistry. And for those that don't know, the Denver Chem is one of the rare chemistries over here in this game that actually reaches tier two for the team chemistry. Most of the ones, such as the Carolina Panthers, the Houston Texans, the Arizona Cardinals, Seahawks, and some more on offense, except for the Cowboys, only reach tier one, which personally I don't think is worth it because you're only getting a plus one boost. With the Denver Chemistry, you're going to go ahead and get a plus two to certain things you guys can see. Once you activate Denver Chemistry tier two, you get a plus two to tackling, power move, as well as man coverage. So I like that aspect of it right now, and we're going to show you guys all the players in the game that have Denver chemistry, except for Elvis Dumerville. I was not trying to buy Elvis Dumerville just because I already have Von Miller. I mean, if you don't got Von Miller, it's a good substitute instead of Von Miller, but these are all the Denver chemistry players you can have in the game, except for Dumerville, obviously, because I'm not paying 120,000 coins for him. So they have a lot of players. They got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, I'm hoping tier three comes out pretty soon, but as of right now, only tier two is available, but still, all these guys are affected by it, and we're going to build a lineup around this team. Also, keep in mind, you can play guys out of position and still get the chemistry, so what we'll do is we'll remove Shane Ray from this position right here, and we'll move him down to the defensive end, and he will still get the boost. As long as you get the chemistry activated with the appropriate amount of players, you can play guys out of position and still get the boost. So, Shane Ray is right here, and he goes up one overall, just so you guys know. So before construction gets underway, we have to map out what the plan is going to be when it comes to building this team. So obviously, the Broncos in real life run at 3-4, and with Derek Wolf down here at the bottom, having 3-4 Kim and Denver Kim, it would make sense for us to run some 3-4 players. Now for those that don't want to run this specific team build with a 3-4 scheme, you can also use a 4-3. And at the end of the video, I'll show you guys how you can do that. But as of right now, let's go ahead and build this team around the 3-4 just because we can maximize Derek Wolf's greatness. Now, I am kind of cheating. I do got a gold coach that I paid a lot of coins for, about 40,000 coins, and also have a color rush uniform for 3-4. So if you guys don't have those, you still get a gold coach, and that will help you get the tier 2 you need for 3-4. Now, I have the extra slot there because I got something else up my sleeve you guys will see later on. So, and with that said, the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is... And with that said, the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is start building the defensive line. Because this is pretty easy. We don't got to move anybody out of the way right now. So at right end, the best guy I have for the job is going to be this Mario Edwards with the Oakland Raiders. Haven't used this guy at all, but he looks amazing, man. He has great block shit, good speed off the edge. And in a 3-4 scheme, he's not going to have edge contained. Chain Ray mostly will, so... He's going to have good speed going against those interior linemen, which may be a mismatch. At D-tackle, number one, we're going to go ahead and put in just this Brandon Williams for now or this Damon Harris. It doesn't really matter right now. I'm waiting to get Danny Shelton. His price is kind of high right now, so I'm waiting to go ahead and get him. Behind Brandon Marshall, either Denzel Perriman or this Avery Williamson. I probably put Williamson here and then put Perriman at number one because Perriman is a better linebacker than this Brandon Marshall. Let's go ahead and do that right quick. Let's go ahead and replace Brandon Marshall. Now, Brandon Marshall is still going to be in our lineup. He is just not going to be at that starting spot. And then we're one chemistry away from achieving it, and we can replace this Shane Ray with Donta Hightower. And we will also have the same overall at the 88. And we got a nice guy coming off the edge. If we can put Shane Ray backing up this guy and put Brandon Marshall backing up by two linebackers, then we'll still have some room left for other spots on the team. And just like that, guys, we got tier two for both Denver chemistry and 3-4 scheme. And the team's not bad. And trust me, it will look much better if I got an 87 overall D tackle here. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and get him in the game right now. We got Danny Shelton now. He's amazing, man. 93 block shit, 90 power move. Kim Boosted going to be a beast up there playing nose tackle for us. And now it's time to go ahead and 
figure out what we're gonna do at safety. Now, I did mention at the beginning of this video, I don't like the plus one chems, but the only thing that makes sense right now to put at free safety is gonna be one of those plus one chems. There's no free safety as of right now. I haven't even checked the new safety in the game, Kraus, if he has a gold strong safety with 3-4 chem. But as of right now, there's not a free safety in this game that has a 3-4 chem or a Denver chem. So I have to go and make lemons out of lemonade. What? Make lemonade out of lemonade? That's, I, I gotta stop using cliches. I gotta go ahead and make do with what I have right now and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna downgrade at safety from TJ Ward. Not really downgrade him, we're gonna replace him with TJ McDonald he has a deep defender and on the other side we're gonna go ahead and put in the 90 overall Devin McCourty that way we have our chemistries activated for both these guys and now on defense we have three chems two of them are tier two one obviously can only be up to tier one and then we'll put TJ Ward backing up TJ McDonald and if I need some higher hit power I guess I'm kind of the same player really but I just got both these guys here for, I guess, on kickoff coverages. But yeah, that is what our team is going to be looking like on the defensive side of the ball. Now, I still got this gap here. Now, for those that don't have a gold coach or the gold or the elite color rush uniforms, this would be where you put another 3 4 player in your lineup in order to get the max tier two camp for 3 4. So I'm just to give you guys an example right now. But what I'm going to be doing right here is putting in some players you guys might not know about. And those players are the Broncos team milestone gold cards. I was gonna quick sell these bad boys, but I figured we can use these guys for our team build on defense. And I'm hoping EA eventually lets us add these items to sets, but as of right now, these cards serve no purpose other than to boost specific attributes for all Denver players. And that includes gold, elite, silver. So if you guys are running these Denver theme teams, do not sleep on these players. So we'll put all these guys in their appropriate positions, start them in the lineup, and you guys will see exactly what happens once their chemistry gets activated and how it affects everybody else on the defense that is playing for the Denver Broncos. Now let's go ahead and add this D tackle field Taylor into this lineup to achieve the chemistry, and we'll see exactly what that increases for those that don't know. So the Denver Kim boosts all different players and affects everybody in your roster. You guys can see all different players are highlighted, even the ones that are in backup positions. Boost one to catching, impact block, power move, and finesse. Which now Von Miller is even more deadly with a plus one to finesse and power move. But this mostly impacts this Derek Wolf. Derek Wolf by himself is a pretty decent card. Gold beast, budget B, salary cap gem. But when you get him Kimmed all the way up, I mean all the way up. He kind of looks glitchy. Because last year, his power move was very low. And this year, you can boost his power move up to a 90 with all these players in your lineup. Now, I know this takes a lot of players, but the Denver team does have a bunch of really good ones. And so he has a better tackle by two, block shed by three, power move is up by six, which is huge, as well as everything else this thing set so i'm liking what i'm seeing right now and this is the best way you guys can go about completing your denver and 3-4 kim as well as getting additional boost by rocking those players if you have them in your binder still now i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna show you guys how i would rock this team because i'm not gonna use 74 overall gold players because why that seems like this fighting for no reason that's dumb makes no sense but it does kind of look nice that this Derek Webb has not a power move, man. That's something I've not seen before, and I doubt you guys have as well. Now, let me go ahead and show you how I would use this team. So this is the 3-4 build. I got some backups here. Demario Davis uh, down here at the defensive line. I got Jay Howard, Damon Harrison, Brandon Williams, and there's some right ends and D-tackles you can get in Dominican Sue. Uh, you can also get the Jarrell Casey. I believe Mike Daniels is one as well. But you want to go ahead and get guys that have high power move and high block shed. You don't want to go ahead and get a guy like Mike Williams. Mike Williams is a beast, but he is one of the one of those weird 3-4 defensive ends where he has high finesse move and you want to go ahead and try to maximize the chemistry boost by giving them boost to that specific chem that is really worth it. You don't want to get a finesse move defensive end and he has 
a plus three to power move when his power move is like a 74. Like, that's not going to make any difference on the field. So try to get guys backing up these guys that make sense for this specific Kim, and as well as for your secondary. You want some depth back here, go ahead and get some deep defenders. Uh, I believe you have the Darrell Rivas as well as... Uh, Von Bell, some cheap guys you can go ahead and get and put back here for the deep defender trait in order to make sure you maximize the chemistry over here on defense. Now, real quick, I'm going to go ahead and show you how this team will look as a 4-3. We're not going to go into construction of it. I'm going to show you how it will look for those that are interested in rocking this Denver Kim with a 4-3 lineup. In the next video, ha, gotcha, I'm going to go ahead and hold off on what the 4-3 Kim will look like, but as you guys can see, I'm gonna give you guys a sneak peek on what we went ahead and got constructed right now. So, well, thank you all for watching the video. If you guys are going to be looking forward to this series, thumbs up the video. I wanna give you guys some choices of what I should build my team around next. That way we can get these videos into the fan interaction portion of it. That way you guys can vote and I'll go ahead and build teams around what you guys like to see. Ain't that many Kims over here in the game right now. So I did the Denver chemistry because that's kind of the most like, easiest one to do i can build teams around everything else but this one has the most players out why that's why it's more difficult in order to build a team around those specific players so thumbs up the video if you guys want more of this and i'll be back later probably tomorrow with how to build a 4-3 denver team it's a dumb name I'll, I'll figure out how my name this series but hope you guys enjoyed and i'll catch you on the next one